we have yeah. Andre, who's been on hold for 45 minutes. Um, welcome, Andre. You've got a, you're a deist and want to make a case for uh, something greater than us. So have at it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love your show. I just uh, started listening to you about a month ago. And, uh, and, and you make everybody study more uh, in Christianity, religion, and everything. I love it. But my thing is, is that uh, as an individual, uh, I know that I have to breathe this substance to stay alive. I can't go to the GM building, the tallest building here in Detroit, and jump off of it and fly around like Neo did in the Matrix. Uh, and I have to uh, obey certain laws of the universe. So to me, as an individual, I don't know what the name or title uh, or anything, but I, I have to agree that there's something greater than myself in this form because I have to do all these things like every other creature to stay alive. I so agree with you. When I see, I, I agree with you. The when, thing that you're, I, the oh, thing that you can't God. come up with a label for that thing is called physics. Mm -hmm. It's physics. It is the, the nature of the universe that requires you to breathe. And that says that you can't, uh, defy gravity. Um, there's no reason. Do you, do you have some reason to think that it has to be a thinking agent? Well, um, I know there's intelligence, and yeah. and I don't know if you guys there has to be a or a, a origin or originality of anything that in our understanding something has to originate from something. So uh, my thing is like uh, okay, there's atheists and there's religion, organized religion. I'm, my spirit is sort of what when I look, I'm looking at squirrels right now and birds. My my thing goes with them. They are the same fallen system. They're killing each other, uh, eating each other, but they're not under the hangups that we are in our form when we've been under words and the manipulation of words. And I and I tell people, what, what is this? It, what, what hey, is Andre? I just what does any of this have to do with whether or not there's a god? Uh, because there, I I don't go for the title God. I'm just saying there's something greater than myself because okay, whatever this what, atheist, Andre, whatever this something greater is, can you tell me what its properties are? I like, don't know. I just have common sense it, to know that th it, this is it. No, no, no. Common sense is is common sense is uncommon, and it's not evidence. This thing that you think is greater than us is it intelligent? Well, is there intelligence? The, intelli I, I'm intelligent, you're intelligent, but is the thing that you think is greater than us, is that intelligent? It, it, it has to, intelligence had to have originated somewhere. Well, it, uh, intelligence originates in a mind. Okay, now go back further. Y yes, and comes? so we get, that, that's a physical process. There's no no evidence for a spirit or a soul. It's physical process goes back to whatever the origin of life was. Okay, that that's good. I can go with that. Uh, and I guess we can all be like, how did something begin with nothing? And the so answer is we don't know. Winners. And the answer is we don't know. And so given that, how can you justify believing that there's something greater that is intelligent? Well, I don't, I don't use the, the title believe. I just know that, okay, if I'm going to choose to go against this greater force, then I should not have to, I should be able to do something other than live, move, and have my being like everybody else has to die, uh, obey the laws of a uh, universe. It would be impressive to me if, if, I, if there was somebody that said, I'm going against something greater than me that, they didn't have to go through the mundane things that everybody else has to go through. That would be impressive. I, I don't, I, Andre, I haven't the slightest fucking clue what you're talking about. Um, the fact of the matter is you can't violate the laws of physics. And that doesn't mean that there's a God or anything greater than us. You're so assuming that there's a higher it? power. You're, you're, you're assuming that there's a greater power. And that when you say you can't go against it, in other words, you can't fly against gravity and so on. 
you're making a lot of assumptions without any evidence. And the like Matt said, uh, there well, are certain well, things. There, the, the there are certain. Don't, don't talk. Is, don't talk. Don't evidence. talk. I'm talking. I'm talking. Thank you. I muted you so that Dave can finish. Thank you, Andre. You don't interrupt me. I didn't interrupt you. But the the uh, assumption that because we don't understand something or we don't know it yet, the assumption that there must be a greater power, there must be some deity, even if you don't want to call it God, to assume that there's some force out there is just is just making an assumption. I mean, back when they didn't understand what caused lightning and thunder, they assigned gods to that. And then we've learned now what causes lightning and thunder. So we don't need a god of lightning and thunder. That's what science is doing. That's what we're doing as we evolve and learn more about the world around us. But don't make assumptions that there's some greater power because there's no evidence of such. Am I still on? Yeah. Hello. Oh, okay. So is it an assumption that you have to breathe what you're breathing to stay alive? No. Oh my God. That's physics. That's the world we live in. It's not because of some deity. Okay. Where did physics come from? Physics is, it didn't come from anywhere. Physics it's a is law a that description. defines what's around us. F physics is a description of how the universe works. It's not like, so there's a difference between prescriptive laws and descriptive laws. Prescriptive laws are thou shalt not drive faster than 55 miles an hour. That's a prescriptive law. A descriptive law is what physics is. It describes what's happening. There's no, there's no origin for physics. There's no tinkering for physics. There's no mind behind physics. This is just what happens. It's the same for chemistry. Physics dix, dis, sorry, physics dictates what how chemistry works how different atoms and molecules interact with each other there's not any reason to believe that there's a mind behind it or that it could have been any other way i'm i'm, I'm sorry that it's now, go ahead um can i uh yeah that's that's a good point on a, on another deeper point okay you've done this for 16 years correct uh uh uh, being on the atheist thing yeah, in the more, religious more than that, school, yeah. spent their, yeah, they've spent their life. Here's a deeper thing: if there's, I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Life, uh, if there's only one life to live, why would you waste all that time on either side, religionists or atheists, wasting your time instead of just living Andre, like all of other creation living? Andre, so I am living, and I'm do Andre. This? Andre, I'm answering your fucking question. I am living, I'm doing what I enjoy. And in the process, I'm helping people free themselves from false beliefs, from fallacies, from religious dogma, from hateful doctrines that are ruining people's lives, including my life. I'm a participant in this system, not somebody who can just sit back and say, well, I'm just gonna enjoy my life, fuck everybody else and their rights. I'm working to guarantee and help promote the rights of all people equally because I benefit from that, because I live in the world, because I'm not just a leaf on the fucking wind going through the world, because my life matters and your life matters. And even if your life doesn't matter to you, it matters to me. That's why I do this. It, 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 it does, but why ain't all the other no, creations? Andre, you're well, done because yeah. you didn't listen to shit. Bye. People can't seem to understand that we talk about this because religion is a real thing that does great damage. And if religion didn't exist, you and I probably wouldn't be doing any of this. Yep. I, I wouldn't be. I mean, hell. But they keep inflicting damage on people and society, and we have to push back or we just don't care. That's if Dave fine. or that's I, the way I see it. Sorry, Dave. I, I, no, that's it. <laughs> there's a gap. If Dave or I go to all the trouble to make a point and answer a question, and you are instantly speaking about the, the but, this, what, that, that means you weren't fucking listening. You were waiting for your turn to talk, and your turn to talk is now over.